Hello, hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at make bricks from Logic 2, and this is the Java solution. The problem states we want to make a row of bricks that is goal inches long. We have a number of small bricks, which are one inch each, and big bricks, which are five inches each. Return true if it is possible to make the goal by choosing from the given bricks. And they say here this is a little harder than it looks and can be done without any loops. And the way we do that is we take advantage of something called integer division, which is a really important idea. And so let's understand the problem. We see that the first parameter is the number of small bricks, the second parameter is the number of big bricks, and the third parameter is the goal. And how we do this is we think of it like this. Step one, well, step one is we figure out how many large bricks we can use. And we do that by using integer division. So I'm going to say large, I'm going to make an integer called L bricks, which stands for large bricks. And what we do is we take, we take the goal and we divide it by five. Now, interestingly here, well, this is a big idea here. Goal is an integer and five is an integer. And when we divide an integer by an integer, we end up with an integer. And this is what's called integer division. So it's really important to understand here is that what integer division does is it simply chops off the decimals. So in our case, if our goal is eight and we divide it by five, we all know that eight divided by five is going to be one and one in a little bit, but it's just going to generate one. So that's the first thing we do. The next step, step two, is we see if we have that many large bricks. Right? Because in this case, if we take 8 integer divided by 5, we get 1. And in, in our case, we have one large brick. So that's okay. But if we have a different situation where we had something like 9 divided by 5. Um, oh, that doesn't work. Well, let's leave step two out and then we'll kind of just go forward and we'll come back to it actually. So let's go to step three. And I'll leave this out because this is where people often make a mistake. And it might be easier to see if I do it this way. Well, step three now is we calculate new goal. So we're going to say we're going to take the goal and that's going to equal to whatever the current goal is minus the number of large bricks times five. Because remember, each large brick takes away five inches from that goal. And then step four is going to be check if we have enough small bricks to make up the rest. So what do I mean by that? So here we have one large brick. And so the goal here is going to be eight minus one times five, which is going to equal three. So that means when we use up the large bricks, we have three small bricks left. And we have to have at least three small bricks to make that up. So therefore, what we do is we're going to say if, and we're going to say if the goal is less than or equal to the number of small bricks that we have, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. So I'm going to hit go now, and you're going to see that this works in most cases, but not all of them. And there it is. And so let's talk about the case that it doesn't work. The case here that it doesn't work is right here. Um, and there's a couple others, but this is a nice one to look at. If you take 11 and you integer divide it by 5, you're going to get 2. And notice, I don't have two large bricks to use. So even though it's going to calculate this, um, it's going to assume we use two large bricks, we don't have those. So we have to make sure we have enough large bricks. And the way we do that is we say if the number of large bricks if it's bigger than what our actual big value is, meaning how many big bricks that we have, we're going to set large bricks just to the big value. Because what we're going to do essentially is we say, all right, I have, I have a goal of 11, and I'm going to use two large bricks, but two is greater than zero, so I have to use zero large bricks. I'm going to use up all my large bricks, and then I have to see if I can make up the rest of my small bricks. And I hit go, and the problem is solved. So the big idea here is this integer division. Really important concept. Um, one, it's worth taking the time to understand. Um, and it will cause, specifically in Java, a lot of funny problems because you'll do a calculation, you'll think it's right, but it's not quite. And that's usually because you're doing integer division. 
and Java will just make a guess. If it, if it sees an integer divided by an integer, it will always do integer division. And the last thing we can do is we can clean this up a bit. So we can get rid of that, those braces because this is a single, single condition, you know, code block or a single line in that code block. We can get rid of those ones as well. And we see that it still works. And the last thing I want to kind of fix up here is I see that this Boolean expression, if it's true, I return true, and if it's false, I return false. So what I do is I actually just change that from an if to a simple return statement and throw a semicolon there at the end. Oh, what did I miss? Let's see if I can find this quickly. Did you see what I did? I totally erased the closing bracket for this function. <laughs> there it is. All right. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a wonderful day.